Hey you guys, welcome back to Southern Latitudes. I'm Robin and uh, this is House Garden, but we're gonna head on over to the Tomato Garden, so also known as Salsa Garden. Watch out, bud. And um, I thought we'd talk about three varieties of tomatoes that are still producing in this awful hot wave. It's almost like dark. I had to come out here because it's been so hot today, but Guess what I have for you? A nice surprise. This is a variety I have never grown before in the tomato section. This is a Abu Ruan. And see how it gets the uh, little green shoulders? That'll darken up over time and this will get redder. And they're a very small, uh, I, not really, like a salad tomato, I guess. They're probably about one ounce, maybe two ounce. That one's got a little hole pressure. But um, they're, here's a little bit bigger one, like a, closer to two ounce. And um, yeah, they are doing excellent in this heat. Look, there's no stress. Let me back up just a little so you can see that. Look at the condition of these tomatoes. This is Abu Ruan. It's actually, uh, I believe, originated in the Middle East. And so it's already kind of adapted for heat. Here's another one. Some of these are starting to get a little bit of... That was probably like two. That looks like a fused blossom in there. Here's a little bit of yellowing. But I mean... I'm not even going to complain about that because we've had, uh, we had two inches just the other day. We had five inches right before that. This garden is definitely seeing lots and lots of uh, rain. So, uh, yeah, the, maybe not the most beautiful tomato. You know, it's not like a picturesque kind of tomato. But I tell you what, if you're looking for something that really does well in the heat and uh, would be perfect for your salads. This is a really nice little tomato. It's my first time growing it here in uh, the garden. And so um, uh, what I did was an exchange with my friend, Marilee, and um, she had this seed already picked out and uh, I gave her a couple of my plants. She gave me a couple of hers and uh, this was one of the heat loving varieties. Okay, so plant number two. Now this one is not doing as great with, um, per, well, it's nearing the end of its life, but I will tell you, it did great. And even with this heat, it's still producing a little bit of fresh new tomatoes. Let's see if we can get in here to see. It's still setting fruit. Hold on, I'm stuck on a zinnia. <laughs> it's still setting some fruit and this is the Grand Marshal it it looks like it's been to war a little bit okay I'm not gonna lie it's not gonna bring home any awards but it's still setting fruit and that's what counts to the home gardener am I right I think I saw one over here yeah look another baby right there it's still putting on fruit Here's one of its siblings. Here, okay, let's um, pull this guy because otherwise something will get it tonight. But this is, that's a pretty average size. I would say maybe a four ounce. I've had them top out at six ounces, but that's a really nice medium tomato, especially in Florida. You know, we don't get those big gigantors, especially um, not just in Florida, but um, this is hybrid versus like the heirlooms will get giant, you know, like one to two, two pounders. But uh, this is awfully nice for a hybrid in Florida at the end of June. I'm really impressed with this variety called Grand Marshall. This third variety behind me is Dixie Red. It, it has a little bit of um, cherry tomatoes in, <laughs> mixing in. But we're not talking about cherry tomatoes today. We're talking about this. Look, more fruit is set. More fruit is set. Look down here. That is easily 
this right here is easily a six ounce or more eight ounce tomato. Now, wait, that might be cherry tomato. Is it? I can't tell. No, I think that's a Dixie Red. Yeah, I, I have to be careful because the cherry tomatoes are up here and they're actually starting to crawl across the cages of uh, the Dixie Red. <laughs> but they're, you could, I can tell the difference. Um, yeah, these are looking great. Now, this isn't really on my list, but this little sweetheart tomato is doing excellent. I picked most of the super red ones, but um, I don't know that it's, it's making flowers. I don't know if it's still, oh, sorry, if it's still setting fruit, but look at the blooms. I guess that's four. I didn't really come out here expecting to talk about that, but I see the blooms on it and it looks like perhaps it is setting more fruit. And, and for what it doesn't make in size, it definitely makes in volume. Oops, there. <laughs> These are nice, nice. Again, a first time with this one. I did the Dixie Red and the Grand Marshals in the fall and first time for the Abu Ruan. So I have to say that um, a year ago, uh, my friend Marilee and I, we were setting out trying to find heat loving varieties and I think we did a really good job of picking better fruit because usually my uh, tomatoes are starting to end by May, somewhere in May, and then they fizzle out as the rains come. But here we are at the end of June and we're still getting tomatoes. My windowsill is completely full right now. And as you can see, we got more tomatoes on the way. So if you're looking for a variety to work in this heat, I don't think you can ask much better than one of these four varieties here. So you guys take care, God bless. Try to stay cool, get in a pool or whatever you can, a refrigerator, eat some ice cream. And you guys have a great weekend. Talk to you later, bye-bye.